hi there traders and welcome back to my humble channel thank you for dropping by and in today's video i'm gonna share with you the forex market preview for the following week it's gonna be the first week of november and i'm gonna write down the most relevant pairs to trade for the upcoming week in the description below so let's go to the charts and see what's gonna happen the next week okay guys the there's basically six pairs that I'm going to look at right now. So these pairs to me are relevant according to the news that is going to be released for the upcoming week. Okay, so we're going to take a look at our favorite Euro USD. And let's just maximize the chart. Let me just go through a smaller time frame, page four, and see what we can do. Say all these were plotted like two weeks ago. So like I said, uh, this was an area of resistance that broken out and has become support. So it tested and somehow test this resistance come back down up down so it penetrated this so it broke it broke this area of port become resistance and it has yet to test the immediate support down here so if we look at the smaller time frame if money begins we can look out for a short short means to sell where to sell right around this range right you can short around this range here right wait for price to come back here and look for a price action to have a reason to sell and also even here okay this was where should be here uh, let me just delete this yeah around this range back up to the resistance here you can try to sell here but of course it'd be a better risk to reward if you were to sell up here okay and stop loss just above the previous resistance high so even though you can actually buy right as as soon as the market opens you can buy and at your stop stop loss below this zone here now either way you have a good risk to reward ratio Okay, so let's go to another pair, USD Canada. Okay, USD Canada has been ranging in between these two support and resistance. Let's go to the smaller time frame and see what we can look at. Even so, okay, let's go to H1. Okay, so what I see is this in the smaller time frame. Okay, some sort of a minor support has been broken down. Hence, it tested here. So we are actually looking for a drop. Means Canada is going to strengthen for the upcoming, uh, for the beginning of the week. I presume yeah if you look at a minor minor uh support this could be one of it so it could range around here yeah you have to make a good decision to sell so we're gonna risk about maybe 40 pips that's 40 for 67 pips reward and we can look for this zone as well so let's just zoom out a bit yeah perhaps this is not a very good trade for me no. so let's go for pound usd okay why pound usd we haven't touched pound usd yet yeah it's also known as the cable right it's a nickname for pound usd so this is uh, the immediate support for for the price to reach this level usd has to strengthen so is there any reason why the usd is gonna strengthen so we look at the forest factory yeah we have an important news for the us dollars this monday 10 p.m okay ism manufacturing so what could happen is price could actually uh, head towards this level before before we have the nfp on friday is the first november i mean the first friday of each month we will have the nfp so nfp is an important news event that takes place every first friday of the month so take note of that my friends and of course, we have another area of resistance because support at this range. So you have to take note of this range as well. So let's go to a smaller time frame. Yeah, so we are perhaps going to test this zone as well. So if you want to sell, you have to take note of this area, right? And also this area, and this is the immediate resistance. Yeah, take note of these zones that I've highlighted. I'm not going to tell you which levels. I mean, you can actually do this markings by yourself uh, it takes a lot of practice as well well you can check out our other channels that teach you the basics of support and resistance trading we will teach you how to plot the zones so new zealand usd we also have an important news for new zealand usd we have the rbnz financial stability report on wednesday and we can actually look at the major zones first well it's tested here yeah you can look for a cell setup and we can target actually around this range right it's about 86 pips from where it is smaller time frame right? i like to zoom out and then zoom in to a smaller time frame we can look for a cell right all these suggestions of course with the consideration of a better risk to reward ratio all right i wouldn't actually recommend to buy or sell but this is how i would trade so for example this one here and we can use about 12 pips for 85 pips right? or you can put your stop loss above the resistance zone or even put your entry sell at this level here and perhaps you can risk a little bit maybe 20 pips for 100 pips like so okay so let's just leave this 
zones here as I've plotted them and we will see and come back during the weekend and see if there's any changes. Power New Zealand quite relevant this is why I see okay so a lot of uh, bearish momentum coming down towards New Zealand so what I'm seeing is New Zealand is strengthening against the pound US dollars a good sell zone would be this zone and also we are right now at this sell zone okay so let's see the trade it's about 92 pips 100 pips yeah it's about one is to one is risk to reward ratio let's look at Aussie US dollars we have Aussie US dollars let me just take a look at here and also okay all right this is how I plot my support and resistance and look at the smaller time frame yeah perhaps we can look for a sell to me to me it looks like a sell because i see that price has broken support this is the minor zone support so support has become resistance be a good selling point here small risk to reward ratio about 10 pips to 66 pips from that range okay all these are not guaranteed trade your plan and plan your trade my friends that's all i have for all these six pairs hope you enjoy my video thank you very much and have a good trade next week thank you guys